Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and this is a subscriber request. Now, today's request comes from, well, no one. Since this is the first subscriber request video, I thought I'd start with one of the most common questions slash problems that I see on the Finale forums and Facebook pages, the dreaded mismatching pages issue. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna show you how you can submit a request for a video. First of all, you must be a subscriber, so click the subscribe button on YouTube and or sign up for the mailing list by clicking this link on the website. Then, just send me an email here with your request. Lastly, if your request does make it to video, please consider a donation to the cause with whatever you can. It would be most appreciated. More details can be found following the link in the description below or directly on the subscriber request page of the website. Now I'll try to do these as often as I can, and if your request makes it to video, I'll give you a shout out. Now on to the formatting problem. Now at some point, every Finale user inevitably runs into this crazy situation where the formatting suddenly changes past a certain page. Now maybe it's the size of the systems that change, maybe it's the margins or even the page size itself, or you know, all of it at once. It's completely baffling when you first encounter this and your first question is usually what the heck happened, but your next more important question is always how in the world do I fix this? So in order to resolve this, it's important to understand how you got here. Now the key to all of this is understanding that there are two different places where you can change the formatting. The first is the page format from the document menu. Now here you can adjust the page and system scaling, the page and system margins, and the page size all within one window. And by the way, there's a separate page format for the score and for all the parts collectively. Now the second place to make these types of changes is in the page layout tool, which has separate menu items for each one of those settings. So what's the difference? Essentially, the settings in the page format window are the default settings for the respective score or parts. Now, the menu items in the page layout tool provide you a way to create overrides of those settings on a page-by-page -page or system-by-system -system basis. So, what's understandably difficult to grasp is that making overrides in the page layout tool to the whole document will never change the default settings in the page format window unless you check the option to update page format for score. So without this checked, watch what happens when I start making changes. So I'm changing the page size here using the page layout tool and basically applying it to every page. But even though everything is now a new page size, I never updated the default page formatting. All I did was override every individual existing page with the new settings. So as you can see, the original page size still exists in the page format window. So as I mentioned, these settings are the default settings for the document. And the significance of that is that when you create new pages or new systems, usually by you know adding measures or you know reflowing existing measures, uh, Finale will always consult the settings from the page format window, which, as you can see, are now different than what exists in my score. So see what happens when I add measures. The new page takes on the old page size because that is still set as the default. So what makes this doubly confusing is that if you make changes directly in the page format window like this, after you click OK, nothing happens, which is, you know, it's pretty counterintuitive. Now, the, the technical reason for this is that once a system or page has been generated, Finale considers it locked in with the settings that existed when it was generated. That's why, you know, nothing happens to existing systems or pages. They're all locked in. So it's only newly generated systems and pages that will acquire the settings from the page format window. Again, pretty counterintuitive. So what's the solution? Well, now that you sort of understand the core principle of this, that, that Finale will create new systems and pages based on the settings in the page format window, the general idea is that you wanna make sure that those settings ultimately match any settings that you adjust using the page layout tool. So the most obvious way is to make sure that this option here to update page format for score or parts uh, is checked. So that will ensure that any changes you make in the page layout tool get copied to the default page format settings. So out of the box, this will always be unchecked by default in Finale. And, you know, it sort of makes sense because there are a lot of overrides to the system spacing that you will eventually do. And, you know, with that checked, it will be constantly updating the page format, which may not be what you want to do in that particular circumstance. But, you know, if you're making wholesale changes to the page size, for example, it's way better to check this option so that it gets changed not only in your score, but in the default page format setting as well. 
So another way to do this, and you know, this might be better if you're starting from scratch because you can sort of change everything all in one window, is to go ahead and set up the page format window to your liking. Then click OK, and of course nothing happens, <laughs> but then go to the page layout tool and look for this menu option here called uh, Redefine Pages. So select that and choose the option for all pages for current part or score. Now, again, with the confusing language, redefine is a bit vague. More specifically, what this does is it conforms the existing systems and pages to the settings from the page format window, which is, you know, probably what you would expect should happen when you make a change in the page format window and click OK in the first place. But it's, there's just an extra step to make Finale do what you think it probably should. So anyway, this essentially solves your problem. Your systems and pages are the right size, you have the right margins, the systems are set up correctly, etc. And now the defaults match what you're seeing. So when you generate new systems or pages, everything matches. Awesome. But what if you have a file like this, where you've already made a lot of overrides in the page layout tool without that update page format option checked? Now, this may include making some local changes to system spacing, by the way. So using redefined pages may be problematic because it will erase all of those local changes and basically reset everything to their default settings according to the page format window. So you'll need to be a little bit more careful in this particular scenario. Uh, very simply, you can just take note of the settings for everything and you know, sort of one by one re-enter them back into the page format window. So you're sort of like manually matching the default settings to the overrides is what you're doing. Uh, another sneaky way to do this is to check the update page format option and then make a small change somewhere and then change it right back. This will basically ensure that the setting gets copied to the page format window. Um, so this will work for system and page margins as well as page size. The system scaling and page scaling windows have their own options here at the bottom that will allow you to directly paste these settings uh, back into the page format window, um, whether or not the update page format option is checked or not. Um, anyway, at the end of the day, the long and short of it is, if the page format settings from the document menu match the existing system and page settings, then you should never run into the issue of Finale creating some monstrosity like this guy over here ever again. So as a point of good practice, now that you sort of understand the principle behind this, uh, it's best to try to be aware of when this update page format option is checked or unchecked. So when you make manual changes to individual system spacing in the edit system margin window, uh, it's best to leave this unchecked. Otherwise, your new systems uh, will take on the spacing of whichever system you were last adjusting. Um, interestingly, it doesn't do that when you simply drag a system or a margin. It only does that if you manually change the numbers within these little mini margin windows. Now, I should point out that the fact that this issue comes up in the forums and the Facebook pages so often is really a testament to how unintuitive this whole process is. So I kind of understand why Finale handles it this way. Um, you know, it actually provides an incredible amount of control on a page-by-page -page and system-by-system -system basis with a sort of minimal amount of dialog boxes. But, you know, the unfortunate side effect is that the most common things that you'd want to do, like, you know, globally change the page size or something, is really not not obvious at all. Uh, you know, and furthermore, Finale has no, you know, user interface markings telling you that you're dealing with overrides on pages or, you know, that pages are locked into an old page format setting. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's understandably confusing. And even the language is confusing. So page format versus page layout. I mean, in common usage, those terms are pretty interchangeable. Um, for me, even if the page format menu item existed in the page layout menu, you know, at least you'd understand that they're intimately connected somehow. Uh, but honestly, my preferences in this whole process is if I were to, you know, wish for a change in Finale, my preference would be that in the page format window, there should be two options when you're done. There should be OK and then something else like OK and conform existing pages. Um, so anyway, you know, if you got burned by this, don't feel bad. Most people do at some point. I have. Um, and it's, you know, it's Finale's fault for, you know, fragmenting this process a little bit too much. But hopefully now that you understand the principle, you'll never get burned by this again. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to become a subscriber so that you can submit a request for me to work on. My name is Jason Lafredo, and this has been a Conquering Finale subscriber request. 
If you enjoyed this video, please visit www.conqueringfinale.com to find full tutorials categorized by topic. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel here, follow me on Twitter here, email me here, or you can send me Morse code, telegraphs, or smoke signals. But please, no carrier pigeons.